Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, trend update, Yellowstone trimmers, and we are in June 2017. Scripture references out of Psalm 46, verse 6, The nations made an uproar, the kingdoms tottered, he raised his voice, the earth melted. Now, a, a significant amount of seismic activity is a characteristic of the end time scenario. The activity in Yellowstone Park is not the end time scenario. So as of June 2017, a swarm of earthquakes has recently hit the Yellowstone Super Caldera in Wyoming. And depending on various reports, up to 800 quakes have taken place. The largest reported tremor was 4.5 magnitude on the Richter scale. The series of events was noted as, quote, green by the United States Geological Survey. And you can check this article out at Forbes.com. Scientists confirm Yellowstone supervolcano was hit by 450 quakes in a week. Now, predictably, the experts state that Yellowstone is not in danger of a massive eruption. And that's what the experts always say. Nothing to be worried about. Uh, however, the U.S. government is taking the following precautions, question mark. Okay, so caution. Conspiracy theories are alive and well here. And allegedly, NASA has launched its Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, otherwise known as SOFIA, to monitor the Yellowstone caldera. At the least, SOFIA has been seen flying over the area. And you can check that out at strangesounds.org. Uh, Yellowstone Awakening, 4.5 earthquake hits Yellowstone and NASA flying the world's largest airborne observatory over the supervolcano. Uh, now this also, the following is from NASA, and this is their description of SOFIA, which is built into a converted Boeing 747 SP. SOFIA's 8.2 foot diameter telescope will make it the world's largest and most sensitive airborne observatory. Flying at 39 to 45,000 feet, it will enable scientific observations that are made impossible for even the largest and highest of Earth-based telescopes. Peering out through an open cavity in the side of the aircraft, the telescope will allow astronomers to obtain sharper infrared images than ever before. The astronomers, technicians, engineers, educators, and flight crew will work in a comfortable airliner environment during a typical eight to nine hour flight. And you can check out nasa.gov uh, link provided for that as well. And uh, one other conspiracy theory has the United States offering billions with a B of dollars to other countries for relocation of citizens in case of a massive event. Um, and that would be if Yellowstone blows. The plan reportedly has U.S. citizens being sent to Australia, Brazil, and Argentina. The relocation plan allegedly was signed, sealed, and delivered in 2014. So with all of this stuff in this particular report, do your own homework and verify. Don't take the bald guy's word for it. You need to do your own investigations, come to your own conclusion. And this, this article was also pulled in regards to the United States paying countries to take citizens. So I pulled this from dailymail.com, or I'm sorry, dailymail.co.uk link provided as well. And there were two or three other articles that uh, reported the, the theory, the conspiracy theory, that this may be taking place or has taken place back in 2014. And another article said that this, this was in effect for 10 years. But do your own homework. Look into this. One way or another, there is a lot of hot air being released on this topic. So if you're interested in this, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com. Uh, Yellowstone tremors, seismic activity, volcanoes, earthquakes. Appreciate you guys listening. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye.